Hello, my name is Bill. You're watching a truck engine running on white gasoline vapor. The sound of the engine is poor with so-so video, but it was taped 16 years ago. Pictures are worth a thousand words. I have run seven vehicles. Some are on the highway. All were on my white gasoline vapor. I have actually created more questions by making my white gasoline vapor, but I have some answers that could help to stop or slow global warming. I need someone of influence to view this video and help me to get answers to questions that I am sure will help to slow global warming, besides improving vehicle mileage using smaller engines with bigger power. I could tell many a story about my white gasoline vapor. I created it some 25 years ago. I know my vapor will take gasoline to its maximum potential in the combustion engine with a minimal emission. I have seen this on two dynamometers which shows you the amount of power the vehicle can produce and one gas smog analyzer. I need readings from more of this expensive equipment and someone with the decision power to make it happen. Someone needs to tell President Obama to watch this. And if he sees potential, tell him to contact me. I know that I have discovered what I have discovered so far and everything is headed in the right direction for gasoline vapor. Besides, the auto industry needs a boost and this could be exclusive to American made vehicles. All the fuel burns completely just emitting exhaust gas, which we need to have analyzed. Again, more questions. No hydrocarbons are present, like with carburetion and fuel injection system, which will become obsolete if we go to this system, which warrants needing the catalytic converter. The old uh, uh, carburetion and fuel injection system needs the catalytic converter to burn the hydrocarbons produced by the liquid gasoline. I also discovered a portion of the gasoline liquid is not flammable and could and should be removed from the gasoline. So here the refineries need to take this out. I am sure this is part of the pollution in the air. Again, more questions with a good outcome this time. I have the equipment seen on this video and we can get readings to answers to some of my questions for minimal exploration cost. Helping the environment immediately has a potential, has a possibility and it could be just a brand or it could be just a band-aid and not worth our effort. I do have it and it has possibilities. Just need the right audience. And of course, that's a hint of President Obama. Watch this video. Thank you, Bill. this thing together and I thought I was going to need the air intake in this point in this part of the uh, tube but I didn't need it so I, I now use it to actually visually see the vapor going into the engine now as the engines running there you can see it's riving up pretty fast now one at one spot here it'll cut I'll cut off because the engine actually died because I did, the weight that I had on the accelerator which kept the butterflies open in the carburetor slipped off. Now you can see I'm riving the engine up and as I rivet it up you can see the extra amount of vapor coming out of the tube. I mean we're talking this is a crude system but it works. It works good believe me. Now you can see that this is when the engine has died and I'm restarting it again. You see how rock solid that engine is. Now, if you listen to it, if you start the whole tape over again, or the CD over, or DVD over again, you can see and hear the sound of that engine. Now, you can see I'm riving it up here, and I, I'm really riving this thing up. This, this engine is rock solid, and it's got more power than you can imagine. That is the vapor chamber right there. That, that's where I make the vapor itself. Now, you can see there's a Y there that pulls, pulls it through the vapor chamber and out of the vapor chamber back to that flex tube over there is dryer vent tube. Now this is cheap. Dryer vent tube goes over to two tin cans that I've welded together that, that are bolted onto the top of the carburetor. 
okay and I'm not using any part of the carburetor other than the butterflies in the carburetor to make this thing run because that's what's uh, sucking the vapor into the engine into the intake manifold but that's the actual chamber right there where I make the vapor now there's the flex tube that's a dryer vent flex tube right there you can see I started the car up or started the engine up on gasoline vapor right there now if you look right here the valve covers there's there's brass fittings right there okay see those brass fittings the one on the left right there next to the carburetor is a fuel filter the the other things are just fittings to put together there's a valve there that's a ball valve that va that ball valve it controls the gasoline going to that carburetor that ball valve is shut off and the gasoline is going over to my chamber and I'm converting it from liquid to vapor okay now you can see there's the Y again. This is the Y that I that I hadn't put together, which I really didn't need. It just became a visual aid to show you where that the vapor is being sucked up into this engine. And you can see that engine is really being revved up. Let me tell you something. 